Good evening there, welcome back to the channel. Tonight we have driven one and a half hours to shoot this Star Tracker. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, let me show you what we are shooting behind you. So, I'm now standing uh, at our actual target for this evening, or one of the hopefully two targets of this evening. It's a little watchtower, we are uh, near the Dutch coast. It is very windy tonight, also still cloudy, but in about 20 minutes it should be clear. This uh, watchtower has been made, or designed I should say, by I think a um, yeah, local group of kids. And uh, it is resembling, you know, those little wooden popsicle sticks of ice creams? Well, that's what you're looking at at this tower. Just a little fun subject on a Sunday evening. So uh, let's see if the sky is clear and uh, let's have some fun tonight. So as you might have noticed, uh, we have uh, set up our tripods very low to the ground because it's pretty windy here, we are close to the sea. Uh, I think I'll actually hold my tripod, use settings uh, of a high ISO, maybe a maximum shutter speed of about 20 or 30 seconds. And uh, yeah, let's see if that remains uh, sharp enough. So uh, we are seeing uh, some clear skies uh, coming up from the southwest. So uh, we'll shoot a foreground, we just saw Cygnus right above the tower. So I'm thinking a 4x5 crop and uh, that'll do. So not all of you might be really familiar with the Cygnus region of the Milky Way. Let me show you what it's all about. Uh, the Cygnus region of the Milky Way is uh, yeah, pretty good positioned in the west around a nightfall. Uh, for the Netherlands that's excellent because looking to the west, also where we are now, we are looking over a very dark north sea. And the Cygnus region of the Milky Way is a yeah, not a really defined region, but it's still really nice, especially with an astro modified camera. Because if you zoom in around the star Deneb, we have the very bright H Alpha Nebula, uh, which is called the North America Nebula. And if we go a little bit south to the star Seder, we have the H Alpha region, which is called the Seder region, or also the Butterfly Nebula. And especially with an astro modified camera, that comes out really well. But I think this region is also also really worth it to shoot with just a normal stock camera. So uh, let's get back to the field and see how we do in the wind. So we started our session by shooting the foreground. After that we would walk a couple of meters to the side to get a clean horizon and more stable tripod position on the path. We aim to do tracked and stacked sky exposures which we would blend later in post processing. We have aligned very roughly, just using our laser. We are going to use short exposures anyway, and we're shooting wide angle, I think 24 millimeters, so that should be good. Um, yeah, it has become pretty clear. Um, so we are rushing just a little bit because we also want to do a second location, which is a half an hour's drive from here. Um, yeah, there's a bit of haze in the sky, but uh, yeah, I think we can uh, pull off something. We won't get the most detail uh, from sickness, but uh, we're going to try anyway. So. Uh, Let's uh, start tracking. We just finished a uh, short stack. Uh, I shot at the ISO 6400 f2.8 30 second shots. Uh, because of the wind we uh, are trying to keep our exposure times very low. Uh, we noticed after about 10 minutes that uh, the clouds are not moving at all or it's more of a haze, a sort of high cloud formation. So uh, we do not expect to get uh, yeah, a very detailed Milky Way. Anyway it was still fun. Um, yeah, we are now uh, packing up and we are going to our second location. We're going to the House of Nothing and we hopefully are going to shoot somewhere above me, Orion. So 
so, this is the part where I forgot to turn on my mic. What I meant to say was that we arrived at the House of Nothing, which is built on a dike next to the large Isol Lake. Orion was pretty much in the south by now, which wasn't ideal because of light pollution from the big cities. Our other familiar enemy, however, was much more urgent. Clouds came rolling in really fast, so we tried to do some very quick track shots of the sky before they would ruin everything. Okay, so that was way faster than expected. Uh, our trackers were running. I think we managed uh, to do one or maybe two decent track shots before the clouds came uh, came rolling in. How many yeah. shots do you have? Yeah, two, I guess. Two? Okay. <laughs> I think I have one and a half, so that won't uh, even be a stack for the sky, I think. But hey, uh, we just finished our uh, foreground here of the uh, House of Nothing. It's a pretty good foreground. Uh, beautiful stuff with the leading lines of the dike beh uh, be be behind, no, not behind, beside <laughs> it. <laughs> and um, yeah, Orion a bit to the left above it. Um, yeah, we could have just managed to, to do one single exposure here if we knew that the, the clouds came rolling in so fast. But still, anyway, it happens. It's not always perfect. Um, yeah, we might come here again uh, in about a month or so because the composition is pretty good, I think. It is, yeah. yeah. It looks great. Anyway, still had a good night. I hope you too. For sure. I hope you too enjoyed the video of this night. Uh, if our shots uh, turn out to be even half decent, here are the shots. And for now, I thank you again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye. So before showing you the final results, uh, I thought it would be nice to uh, show you what my raw files look like. Uh, we said that we would shoot the foreground separately and uh, yeah, this is basically what it looks like. You can already see the Milky Way showing through a bit uh, just above the tower. Uh, this was a really basic edit. Uh, I only uh, did some um, noise reduction in Lightroom and some sharpening and a bit of uh, white balance correcting. But that's basically it. And after that we went uh, to the path, uh, the path uh, right next to the tower and we shot uh, tracked shots of the sky. We did that uh, also at 24 millimeters ISO 3200 f 2.8 and 30 seconds. And um, when it, uh, well let me actually show you what the raw file looks like. It's a bit red, that's because I'm using an Astro modified camera with an uh, H-Alpha plus visible modification. Uh, but if I fix the white balance, that's the only thing I did here, you can already show, see that the North America nebula here and also the Seder region uh, show through. There's also yeah, quite some haze in the sky from I think some high clouds. Uh, but that's okay, uh, we shot about 20 to 30 and we stacked those and after I processed the sky it looked like this. Um, you can also see that there is quite a lot of air glow in the sky here tonight. Um, yeah, furthermore, I didn't do a really lot of editing here. I uh, hardly didn't do any stretching. Uh, basically using the dehaze button worked like a charm here. Uh, yeah, you can see the uh, North American Nebula and also the H-Alpha regions around Seder showing through beautifully despite the, uh, yeah, the amount of high cloud. And if you combine those two together, it looks something like this.